what is going on everybody it is foreign here and welcome back to project zomboid another tip video for you guys today we're going to be talking about combat so if you are new which i'm assuming maybe you are if you decided to uh, click on this video um today we're going to be talking about combat um pretty much your tips or uh guide uh to help you tackle your first survival in project zomboid so a lot of you may be new this game has gained um, a lot of newcomers to it. And uh, today I'm going to be talking with you and going over the best tips I personally think that they uh, may help you survive your first zombie encounter or even your first horde. So uh, when it comes to encountering your first zombie, you'll end up spawning in a house just like this um, or even somewhere else. Uh, your best bet is to look inside through the cupboards um, sometimes there always won't be one, but you may even find some, uh, I guess what you'd say, kitchen appliances, uh, you know, a griddle pan, a rolling pin, something like that, that'll allow you to engage in zombie combat. Um, at least starting off until you find a better weapon, like a baseball bat, an axe, a katana, even if you get lucky. Um, something along those lines. Now, if you didn't find a weapon, but you have come across a zombie... Um, there's a number of things you can do to easily take out the zombie if it's just one So you want to right click and hit spacebar that'll push the zombie um, And eventually you will knock it down if you don't get it on the first try Now if you're standing over the zombie it has no opportunity to get up It cannot get up whatsoever Now in order to finish the zombie while it's on the ground You can just hit spacebar to stomp on its head and there you go Zombie is eliminated now, it's a little bit different uh, doing that when it comes into uh, bigger hordes. Uh, as I can demonstrate here, we got a group of three zombies over here. Now, if we try to use the push method, uh, we may get a little bit overwhelmed if we don't. Uh, as you can see, we don't have a weapon. We can't attack and they're just keeping coming. It's taking us a little bit uh, to uh, actually get them pushed down. And then the next one gets up and they all get up and it could it could cause some panic. So I'd only recommend doing that if you absolutely need to or if you only have one zombie or if your weapon breaks but the best bet is just to walk away and try to find a weapon or find somewhere safe to be now if you do have a weapon it's a lot easier i'd recommend only taking on three to four zombies at a time uh starting off uh just due to uh you don't want to make it too difficult for yourself and you get panicked if you come across any more zombies than this so you can just simply take them out um an effective push is a lot better than you just See, I'm just, if I just constantly swing, it could end up for trouble for me, and I could get exhausted. So if you can wait, place in a well-timed uh, push, which it, once again is just space bar, um, you'll be able to push them down and even knock them down, and then that way you can take out some other zombies. So we have a group of four here. Now, engaging the zombies, uh, they can only see you in their line of sight. So just like us, we have this cone or radius that we can see through. Uh, the zombies also have that so if you can try to stay out of their radius while uh if you're trying to sneak by or something that is much greater as you can see we uh aggroed this one zombie so it's very good to only aggro one or even two in a large group that way you can take them on separately and you don't have to worry about a big group after you so we push it down and we'll just stomp on them it'll also save your weapon durability if your weapon is getting very low um, but, or you can just engage, like I said, I took one down, I'm gonna stand over the zombie, so I don't have to worry about him. Sometimes it doesn't always work, so you just gotta be aware of that, you gotta be, like, standing directly on top of them. And, like, see, I can even kind of stand on two zombies at once. And we can just try to finish them off before this one gets up. And that one's done, and then we can take out that one. So, it's, uh, some key tips, if you do standing over them, it helps a lot. Uh, engaging combat now sometimes you can always do that with a massive horde uh, but once again starting off i would not recommend uh getting into a massive horde now uh there's multiple ways to avoid zombies uh, i can demonstrate here you got this one zombie say you are maybe bleeding and you need to get out of the situation fast or you just don't want to deal with the zombie we have this group of trees right here so what we can do is we can kind of run Kind of skim through these group of trees. Now that's going to stagger him a little bit. So he's a little bit further behind. 
And that way you can have some more breathing room between you. Now you can even go through houses. So you can close this door, come through here. You know, um, this back window, I believe, is broken. Yes. Um, and you can climb through that back window if needed be to escape. Uh, but as you can see, he's still following me. I can easily shut the door on him and he's stuck in the house and I can easily get away. So maneuvering through buildings helps a lot, but do keep in mind zombies do spawn in houses. So I'd best only use that method if the house has already been cleared by you. Now, moving on once again to another good tip is fences. So fences uh, will also stagger the zombies, but you do have to be careful because as they will try to lunge, uh, at you after they have fallen over the fence and what that could do is that can stun you or even knock you down and that is not very beneficial to you in a big groups of hordes so as you can see we'll attract this uh one zombie right here um and now say we're running you know running for a life <laughs> like uh i mostly do uh as you can see he uh kind of fell over the fence and he just tried to lunge at me but i back away far enough to where he couldn't do that now, if he did manage to hit me, it would stun me or even fall or knock me down, I should say. But if you see, look, just did it again. I wasn't able to do anything there. I was stunned and couldn't do anything. Now, uh, a good trick uh, that I've learned, but I only really recommend doing this on a one or two zombies. If you stand still back against the fence, like if you don't walk too far, the zombie will fall in front of you and you're able to take it out easier and even potentially do an instant kill. So let's, that zombie didn't suspect us. It was kind of sleeping and you can easily do an instant kill on zombies. You just gotta, you know, kind of be stealthy, be aware of your surroundings. So let's uh, attract some more zombies. As you can see, that one fell and we can engage this one while that one's still getting up. We can stand over this zombie, take this one out and, and then take this one out. And these zombies still haven't come to us and this one's and then I got the instant kill and then if you stand back against the fence like this and time it just right and actually hit them you can take them out without ever being uh, bitten or anything like that they can't bite you over the fence they have to climb over the fence so if you uh, stand just like this against the fence and wait for them to fall over you can easily do an instant kill now, another thing about fences, there are tar, ugh, man, tall fences uh, that are actually in, uh, that you can actually hop over um, and escape from. Uh, they can't climb over tall fences. They uh, have nothing to do but except path around if they can or something along those lines. But tall fences are a great way to escape giant hordes if you are in a big pickle. Um, and as you can see, there's multiple zombies in houses. Um, they will, if they see you, they'll try to break down the door, windows. They'll do anything they can to get to you. So I would recommend a barricading doors, windows, things like that. Now, if we come down here, uh, there is a tall fence at the end of the block. I will show you in just a second. Alrighty, so we're getting engaged by a couple of zombies here. Um, as you can see, one path over that way because he heard me over that way and he tripped over the fence. So I still have time to get out of here. Uh, but these are the tall fences. There's even tall metal fences. But if you double tap E, you can climb over them. Now, a lot of times you won't have the ability to climb over them due to you're too exhausted or you're carrying too much weight. It, you'll fall back down onto the same side you try to climb over. So uh, keep that in mind. And I would try to keep a distance uh, between you and the zombies before hopping over a tall fence. So if we kind of quickly dash real quick, we can easily hop over the fence and they can no longer get us at the current time. Now, also, I would recommend them not running away from zombies. Now, you may come into a big group like this and you're like, oh no, what do I do? Just remain calm. You can easily outwalk the zombies um, just to gather your bearings see where you're at and what to do with the situation it's all depending on how you want to play if you want to be super aggressive or not as you can see we even have another big horde that's about to aggro on us uh, i'm just remaining calm just walking we don't have to particularly run um that'll save our exhaustion we won't become uh too tired 
is if you become too tired you'll end up not being able to do as much damage efficiently to zombies and it'll just cause you more and more grief on trying to kill zombies so as you can see we're just slowly walking away they're slowly all staggered behind us now what we can also do is run through the trees um to stagger them even more and that way we can get away uh from having to deal with the big horde so we'll just run through the trees here real quick you can just easily walk through them now they'll end up passing through these trees just as i am because they are following me and we can even let's say hop this fence and they are going to be way way back there now you may come across more but now we have time to actually take on these few zombies um but once again keep in mind you can stand over the zombies if i haven't said that already it's it's a, it's a very key tip if you haven't already determined and we could just take out these zombies real quick and as you can see we look behind us and there's no zombies from that big horde because we managed to path through some trees get away from their presence and just slowly walk out of it and we can continue looting this area before we head back to that area to deal with those zombies but i think that's all for this episode or i guess not episode i guess uh guide um i hope you all did enjoy and learn something new that you can do oh uh, actually one more thing before you guys click off if you're wondering how to uh see the zombies or get a highlight of the zombies as you may have saw throughout the video the zombies were highlighted as i was swinging at them if you hit escape or two options right in your display down a few bit you'll see aim outline you want to have it selected to any weapon that way when you have any weapon equipped it'll highlight the zombie nice and green for you so you can see when you're in range uh like so and you know which exactly zombies you're hitting and um yeah it's pretty simple so uh thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in any next videos if you did enjoy please sure uh, man i can't talk tonight all right guys be sure to hit the like button consider subscribing and thank you very much peace